Hey, Erin, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you for reaching out to us on our website um, regarding your website and allowing me to do this free audit for you. Um, so before we get started, let's start from the beginning. So um, when somebody does a search on Google, one of the first things that are going to pop up are going to be your cost for click ads and your Google guaranteed ads. This is one spot in your marketing that you can own. Um, and about 10% of people will click on those ads. Um, the second spot is going to be your um, Google business profile, this map pack here. Your goal should be to be in the top three um, of the map pack for each of your major services in each of your service areas. Um, it does look like you are actually in the top three, so that is good. Um, but you want to make sure that you are for each service area. You definitely want to optimize this profile. Um, it's missing a lot of information and um, you don't have any reviews. You definitely want to work on getting reviews as well. Um, but to optimize this profile, um, to be in the top three in each of your service areas, um, there are several factors. One of them being citations which is simply listing the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yellow Pages, um, Glassdoor, social media, etc. cetera. Um, so you really need to have more than your competition. So you need to have more images, better content, questions and answers, um, and better citations. The third and most important spot is your organic section. This is where 60 to 70% of people go when they're looking for somebody to help them. Um, so most people will skip the ads, skip the maps and come directly here. So in organics, green frog is your top competitor for this specific search. So now going back to your website, um, I know you have frustrations with your website, so um, this isn't probably going to be real new to you, but um, when it comes to websites, Google doesn't actually care what it looks like. Content is key. Um, you do need a lot of content and written content. Um, your website here, it looks like a one page website. You ideally need a separate page for every single one of your major services that is then focused on the local keywords for those services. Most people in an emergency are not going to know the name of your business. So they're going to be searching local keywords like water damage, basement flooding, um, mold removal, those type of things in your area. And so that's what they're going to be searching. So as important as your brand is, you really have to focus on those local keywords and you need about 150 to 250 words for every keyword that you're going to target that allows it to be indexed. So Google can rank you for that, but you don't want to just bury a bunch of keywords that would be keyword stuffing and Google really doesn't like that. So you have to have a, have the right amount of repetition of those keywords um, without going overboard. And so your homepage really should have, you have a variety of services. So it really should have about 1500 words of content or so. Um, you want to make sure that any images are optimized. Um, let's see, save image. Notice down here, um, there's no keywords. There's nothing branded. It's just generic. So you need to optimize those images as well with your keywords. Um, so you definitely do need a little bit of help here. You need those separate pages. If you are servicing multiple service areas or counties, 
You want to have separate service area pages for each of the areas that you service that has search volume. That way you can be found organically in each of those areas. And then ultimately, organically, you can start bringing in those leads. So you might not have to rely on paid lead programs or referral programs, um, etc. So let's take a look at what Green Frog is doing. So if we look at Green Frog, um, their website is decent. Um, actually, I believe I talked to them a couple years ago about it. Um, so you can notice here they have um, different pages for their major services. They have click to call phone numbers. They're using keywords that are local. They still don't have a whole lot of content here. They looks like they might have a little bit more content than you guys. Um, so you definitely need to beat them content wise. And then add those service pages and focus on your keyword strategy. And then if you support it with the good, a good SEO strategy, you can start ranking your website and bringing those leads in organically. So now if we look at AREFs, this is a tool that tells us how your website is performing. And I know your website is new, so we don't have a whole lot of data here. Um, but right now you have a zero rating out of 100. Um, and that's because Google doesn't trust your website yet. Um, that's partially because it's brand new and also because you don't have any backlinks or referring domains. So a backlink is any website that will provide your website a link from their site to your site. And the referring domain is just that other website that supplies that link. Now backlinks are very important and the referring domains because it helps establish trust and authority. Um, but not all links are created equal. So you want, have to make sure you're getting the right types of links that are related to your services. And if we look at the referring domain as like a power source, so your outlet or generator, and the backlink is a cord um, that powers up your equipment and devices. And so it supplies that power so you can use it. And the same works here for your website. So the more power that we push to your website, the more authority is established, the more you can rank. Um, because your website is missing a lot of content, you don't have any keywords and you're not getting any traffic. If we look at your competition, um, they also have a poor rating. Um, they don't have any SEO going. They don't have anything supporting them. Um, but because they do have more content, they have those pages. They have been indexed for some um, 31 keywords and they are getting some traffic. Um, if we look at their keywords, most of their traffic is coming from brand. Um, but you can also see that they are going after some of the local keywords. Now, it's also important to know that oftentimes these keywords have multiple variations. So it might be Dayton water restoration, water restoration, Dayton, water damage restoration, Dayton, water restoration in Dayton. So there's multiple variations. You want to capitalize on those throughout your website so you can get the most potential traffic as possible um, to your website. So now if you follow the strategies that I have provided, your website has the potential to be number one in your area for each of your services. Um, thanks again for speaking with me today and allowing me to do this video. I look forward to speaking with you soon and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have.